Hello guys, Matt Lefke here with True Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com, and today I have another box breaking for you. This one is on Small World. And normally when I do a box breaking, I've never seen the product of of the game, but I have played Small World uh, a few times, so I'm glad that I finally picked up the game. Uh, it is not a game though that I have ever seen in box. I've always played the game. Other people have set it up and set it up with uh, at least one or two of the expansions, which is how I understand is the best way to play the game. So, inside of Small World, you get the uh, rules, which lists all the components right off the bat, correct? And you get the uh, a few of the game turn, wow, quite a few, that's pretty nice, in case they get damaged and destroyed, of the game turn uh, reference sheets that are pretty good size. Uh, you get a, hey, this is awesome, a Days of Wonder uh, advertisement, I guess, of the different games that they publish. Uh, I'm most interested in this for the Small World stuff because I really like Small World. I don't, um, how do I say this? I like a lot of board games, but Small World is a game that I would like to come back to more often than not. So, I am going to, and the board, I mean, the board is what it is, it's huge, right? Uh, so you get this wonderful tray for sorting everything in Small World. They did an excellent job with that. You get the wooden die. Uh, I'm going to set this someplace safe for now. You get the uh, board that's in two pieces, which is actually brilliant for me, because uh, I get to film it that way which means you get to see it. You get your turn counters down the side, as everybody knows, correct? Uh, oh, I lied. It's a two-player board. I'm, I'm a goofball. Which I've never actually used it two-player. I hope to do that with my wife here soon, actually. Um, but the four-player board is slightly larger. Uh, and you have, obviously, you know, it's, it's two-sided. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Well, we'll do it like this, and then we'll slide it up so you can see the whole board. If you've never played Small World, uh, you probably should consider trying it at a, a game convention if you go to those things, or find somebody who has it. So inside, you get all the different punch outs, right? So you, these are like your your uh, special skills here. You've got Alchemist, Berserk. Uh, bivouacking commando, you got diplomats, and then you have all the different races. And the base set, we're going to zoom in a little bit. The base set has Amazons, dwarves, elves, ghouls, giants, halflings, humans, orcs, ratmen, uh, skeletons, sorcerers, tritons, tritons, I love that, trolls, wizards, uh, and a blank for you to kind of create your own. Uh, this is what they look like when they go into Klein, which if we ever get to do a video, or, you know what, I, I can't do any better than Will Wheaton's Tabletop on this one. Watch Small World on Tabletop. I think it was Season 1, Episode 1 or 2, something like that. It's, it's a great game. Uh, here's all the different uh, gold punch-outs, or I just call them money because some of them are copper and brass and silver, right? So I'm just going to call them money. Uh, you have your different uh, types of tokens for the different games. You have fortresses, encampments. I'm going to call them mines, mountain, extra mountain fortifications, some extra money here. And then you get all, well, you get all your punch outs for your race that come with it as uh, you gather your races. You can use these pieces to place them on the board. Uh, do, oh, I just popped one out. I don't want to pop them out yet. Silly vampire. Uh, and this is what they they all pretty much look like. And, and now we're going to go here and we're going to look at this a little bit more. Let's see here. So you got, well, I already talked about it a little bit. We got Alchemist, Berserk, Bivouacking, Commando, Diplomats, uh, Heroic, uh, Fortified. Uh, forest flying dragon masters, which are really cool. Uh, hill merchant mounted pillaging seafaring, which is also really cool. Uh, wealthy underworld swamp stout spirit 
Uh, and then you have uh, the little dragon token that kind of goes with the Dragon Master Race. That's your dragon that you use. Uh, and then you get your two heroic tokens. Uh, and then you get the one that you kind of get to create, right? And uh, I don't remember what those are for. But uh, I really can't wait to play the game and actually give... Well, I don't have to wait to play the game to give you guys a full-blown review. I generally wait until I own a game before I review it. I don't know why. If I've played a game, maybe I should just, you know, talk to you about it a little bit, like when I go to Gen Con or Origins or whatever. Uh, but anyway, inside of Small World, you get everything you need to play a two, two to a four player game. I lied, two to six players. Uh, and to store it, and that's the important part with this game. Storage is super, super important. This little plastic thing is awesome. Uh, oh, board first. Where did I put the board? The die, of course. The die is super important in this game. Uh, I'm going to leave that out because I want to look at it and find out what I'm missing. Where did I put the board? Small world in a box. Small world. If I was to do a top ten list, I guarantee you this game would most likely be on my top ten. I have never had, well, okay, I've had more fun, but I mean, playing a group with a large number of people, this is almost a party game. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Matt Lemke with Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com, with a box breaking on Small World. Have a good day.